So we all know that there are a ton of people out there teaching others how to manifest a specific person. And that's great, but it also can create a lot of confusion and noise. I think a lot of people would just love a very simplified process, something that's repeatable, something that feels good to actually make progress to manifest a specific person. And that's what I want to give you in this video. This video is going to be three very clear, very easy to follow steps for you to make progress, actually start seeing results when you're manifesting a specific person into your life. Before I jump in, I also want you to know that I have a new free ebook book. It is called The Three Most Important Steps to Manifest a a specific person. And there's a workbook included in this. So if you really want to jump into actionable steps of what you can do to manifest your specific person, just comment SP in the comments below and I will get you the link right away. Okay, so let's jump in. So step one is for you to realize that manifesting works. This may sound like a silly first step because you are here on a manifesting video anyways, but here's the thing. A lot of people are trying to change something in their 3D reality and they kind of don't believe that it's going to happen. This happens a lot with people manifesting a specific person. A lot of people don't hold the belief that it's actually gonna work. So when you don't believe that it's going to work, Work, you are already set up for failure because life is going to reflect back to you what you actually believe is going to happen. So believing that manifesting works is a key part of the process of manifesting a specific person. To believe that it's going to work, let's look at what manifesting is and what it is not. So what manifesting is not is not waving a magic wand to change someone in your, in your 3D reality. It is not waving a magic wand to get something out there. As much as we wish it was, that's not really what manifesting is at all. So when we realize that that's not what it is, we can start focusing on what it is. It is a tool of self-transformation. And the idea behind it is when you change, you automatically create new results in your life and in your 3D reality. This is how you create a new result with a specific person, by changing yourself, okay? So when you realize that by changing yourself, you can create new results and you start to think about that, it actually makes logical sense. Of course, if you start thinking a new way, of course, if you start acting a new way, of course, if you start being a new version of yourself, you're going to see new results in your 3D reality. It just makes sense. So that is what manifesting is. And when you realize that, that it's all a tool of self-transformation, and when you change, then other people in your reality can change too, then it becomes easier to get behind doing manifesting techniques, knowing that it is gonna work. If you change, things out there have to change no matter what. So this is the first step of manifesting a specific person simplified. It's recognizing that manifesting does work when you think about it as a tool of self-transformation to change your reality. So step number two to manifest a specific person is ask yourself this very simple question. Who would I be if I was already in this relationship? Who would I be? This is another huge mistake people make, in particular when manifesting a specific person, is they are focusing on changing someone else. And that's just not how it works. Not only that, it feels awful to try to control someone else or you know manipulate our reality when we are really feeling desperate and not great about who we are. That's not what manifesting is. Remember, it is a tool of self-transformation. And so the way you want to transform yourself is start asking yourself, who would I be if I was already in this relationship? This is called constructing your self-concept. So think about it. Just imagine if I was happy in a relationship, what types of thoughts would I have about myself? You might be thinking things like, I love my life. I love this relationship. I'm happier than I ever have been before. That was one of the thoughts I would think often when I was manifesting my husband. You want to ask yourself, what would I be thinking about my love, about this person that I'm manifesting? You probably would be thinking things like, 
I love them. They're so wonderful. They take care of me. They're such an incredible person. How would you be feeling as you walk down the street? You'd be feeling happy, alive, joyful, filled up. How would you be acting in your life and in the world? Your work is to construct this new self-concept, this self-concept of someone who's happy in a relationship and act into or pretend that you are this person now. By doing that, you are doing the most important and really kind of the only step, the main step of manifesting, which is becoming the version of yourself that has your desire now. Step number three to manifest a specific person is you do want to ask yourself, who are they? Imagine who are they in this relationship with you? So this is a really fun step for you to do. And it's much easier to do once you've done the previous step of self-love. And I'm going to get into that in a second. But how do you imagine the other person? Well, you want to dream up the qualities of this amazing person and your amazing relationship. One technique you can do is just list out qualities that your dream relationship would have or your dream partner would have? How do they show up for you? What types of things do they say to you? Uh, How do they act with you? What do you want your future to be like together? You want to imagine all the different elements of this relationship. And by imagining the different elements of this person and this relationship, you are activating them in your subconscious mind. You're learning to expect that that version of them is going to show up for you. And what we believe within is what we create in our life. Now, the problem with this step or where people sometimes go wrong is they skip straight to this step. So they skip the self-love part. They even skip the believing and manifesting part, and they go straight into trying to imagine the other person. If you've ever done that, you might know that it can be really hard to do because if you're stuck in a self-love or in a self-concept where you feel like they don't want me, the relationship didn't go well, it didn't go well, but I'm trying to imagine them in this beautiful light, it can be really, really hard to do. That's why you want to make sure you do the self-concept work and the self-love work where you're really building yourself up and seeing yourself as this amazing person. Because when you actually start to change and see yourself as an amazing person, it becomes easier to imagine this person showing up for you, imagine this person loving you, imagine this person wanting to be in your life. So I can give you an example from my own life. Many years ago, I went through an awful heartbreak and I was in a relationship with a man who didn't show up for me. He just couldn't consistently show me that he wanted to be with me. And that was devastating for me. I hated the way that felt, but we had to break up because I couldn't continue to be in a relationship like that. But I didn't know what else to do. I did really want to be with him. So what I did when we broke up, it was purely by chance, but I just started doing a lot of self-love work. I started telling myself that I was an amazing woman. I started telling myself that I was worthy of love. And by doing that, something amazing happened. I started to feel better and better and better about myself. As I started to feel better and better and better about myself, I started doing the self-concept work where I was saying, of course I'm going to be in a relationship. I'm meant to be in a relationship. Of course people are going to be attracted to me. And from there, it became very easy to then turn my attention to this man and imagine that he also would wanna be with me. Why not? When we're feeling amazing about ourselves, we can really start to believe that other people are going to see us in an amazing light as well. Well, guess what happened after I did all that self-love work and self-concept work? This guy came back into my life. And that's because I was living in my fullness. I was being an amazing version of myself. And he really saw that and he was drawn to that. So all this to say, definitely focus on who the other person is being is in your reality and who you want them to be. But make sure you really do the self-work first. That is the number one work of manifesting, transforming yourself to become the version of yourself who would naturally have your desire. If you do that, you will be blown away at how your desires naturally come to you. 
Thank you so much for being here with me in this video. I love being here with you. If you find yourself not feeling disciplined when manifesting a specific person, I highly recommend you watch this video. I'll give you four tips to really stay in the process of manifesting them and make it really fun for yourself. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye.